Sometimes the smallest of amusement parks will offer the most fascinating of facts, including a park that's located in one of the most densely populated cities that has connections to an iconic video game character, features a historic ride, and offers visitors a chance to experience traditional customs. We'll take a look at these and more in this episode of Coasting with Cultures, Cultural Connections. In Tokyo, Japan, visitors to the Sensoji Temple in the Asakusa district can make their way a few blocks to a small amusement park called Hanayashiki. This small amusement park may not be anywhere close in size to some of its counterparts in the country or around the world, but there are some aspects of this park that make it a really fascinating place. Opening in the year 1853 as a flower park, Hanayashiki is the oldest amusement park in all of Japan. This would coincide with the arrival of Commodore Matthew Perry from the United States, who was sent in an effort to try and force trade with Japan. Over the years, the park would add rides and other attractions. The park also had wild animals like lions and tigers, which are no longer a part of the park's experience. Today, when visiting the park, you can still see the garden that it maintains just as it had in the past. Visitors to Tokyo will be able to tell you just how dense this place is in its construction and in the number of people. And you'll notice this when visiting Hanayashiki, as there are rides that are built on top of each other and right next to one another and the surrounding buildings, similar to other amusement parks like Indiana Beach in the United States or Gronalu in Stockholm, Sweden. This is reflective of the high density of Tokyo itself, as it's very densely built since space here is at a premium. The total size of the park fits within about a city block or two of land. The park is operated by Hanayashiki Company, which is a subsidiary of Bandai Namco Holdings. This is the same company responsible for the creation of such popular television shows and video games such as Power Rangers, Digimon, and Pac-Man, along with their associated toys and merchandise. Hanayashiki is home to just one roller coaster, simply called Roller Coaster. While the coaster is not the most thrilling ride in the nation as it stands only at about 36 feet tall with a 767 foot length, it has the distinction of being Japan's oldest operating roller coaster, opening in the year 1953. The designer of Roller Coaster, Togo, has built a number of roller coasters around the world. Over the years, the train has gone through a number of styles, previously having looked like a dragon, a mine train, and most recently, a rocket. The next oldest coaster in operation is the Jet Coaster at Misaki Park in Osaka, which opened in 1957. While enjoying the garden inside of the park and the variety of rides, there's another experience you can enjoy as part of your visit to Hanayashiki, and this gives you the opportunity to dive into traditional Japanese culture. This activity is the kimono and tea ceremony experience. Where you get to learn about the kimono and wear one yourself, you also learn about the tea ceremony while enjoying a variety of Japanese treats. Don't speak Japanese? That's not a problem as they welcome non-Japanese speakers to join. Have you participated in culturally immersive experiences before? Which ones have you tried? Please share in the comment section below along with any other cultural connections that you may know about Hanayashiki. Thank you for watching this video from Coasting with Culture. If you haven't already done so, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see future videos. You can also find Coasting with Culture on Twitter and Facebook as well. And of course, for more travel experiences, visit coastingwithculture.com. Until next time, take care and safe travels.